Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high, even if the sky is falling down. Hello friends. Happy Friday. <laughs> Today is March 27th and I am at school. Um, and I'm feeling very emotional. <laughs> I'm here to pick up a few things. Um, I need to get some picture books, uh, a couple of chapter books, um, some whiteboards, whiteboard marker, markers. <laughs> and then I know I have some hand sanitizer here and some like wipes. <laughs> and even though I'd love to keep all of that here, I need it. So I am just grabbing a few things um, and then I'm gonna head straight back home so it's crazy though that this place looks like people were just here jackets and books left out and there's even a book bin. It just doesn't seem like this place has been deserted for almost a month now. So I'm just gonna collect the things that I need and then I'm gonna talk to you guys a little bit about like my perspective of what's going on. I feel like, I haven't shared, I haven't really spoken a lot about what's going on. And I just feel like so many of my teacher tuber friends have done a really good job of informing people of ways to teach digitally and you know everything that I would say is basically the same you know so I don't feel like I need to make a video about ways that you can teach online and digital resources and things like that I just don't feel like that's necessary for me to do right now just because everybody's already kind of taking care of that um but what I do want to take what I but what I do want to share is what an amazing community this is here online where we have that resource, others, each other as a resource. And I just think that it's so wonderful and powerful and I'm just very grateful for it. But um, in my school district, we have been doing, you know, some things. So look, I'm literally stocking up what I have in my cupboards, <laughs> um, sanitizer, Windex, even though these are things that I would normally not use to clean my home, I'm gonna use them now uh, just because of the circumstances. Now, nobody's been in my classroom since the beginning of March, except for the janitors, and they were only here to clean. So that's why I'm wearing gloves, just you don't know who's touched what, but um, let me go ahead and pack up all the stuff that I need, and then I'm gonna sit down and talk to you guys. Okay, so since I'm here, I'm just going to chat with you guys a little bit. Um, so obviously, I'm not going to be putting out a video that talks about 
what you guys can be doing at home as teachers to teach your students because I just feel like so many of my teacher tuber friends and people online have really done such a great job of already explaining that to you. So I don't feel like I need to do that um, right now. Um, but I will just kind of walk you guys through what's going on in my world. So um, our district has given us instructions to not do anything digitally yet. Um, we have a lot of diverse uh, needs in our district. So a lot of our students do not have access to the internet. A lot of them do not have devices that they could use to access the internet. And so uh, we have not done a whole lot of push for digital learning yet. Um, a lot of our work has been surveying families, reaching out to families, um, and the district has been doing a lot of collaborating together to figure out a plan for us. As of right now, we are only closed until April 10th, but just from seeing what other people are doing, I have a feeling that we'll probably be closed up until the end of the school year. Um, and it is what it is. Um, as far as I know right now, they have canceled our state testing, which is great for our kiddos um, because obviously they can't um, come in and test. Um, we have been doing a lot of professional development. We've been doing a lot of work as a team in our grade level teams. And um, so we plan to roll out some sort of digital planning or sorry, digital learning coming up here around April 6th. Um, and we really don't know what that's going to look like yet for our families. Um, we do have sort of a plan in place, kind of like a a weekly schedule of things that we would like to do. Um, but for now, we're just kind of in limbo waiting to hear what we're expected to do. So since then, I have reached out to my students. We have done a Zoom date. We have been on Class Dojo. We've sent pictures back and forth. And I think that that's really important right now is just to make sure that our students know that we miss them, we love them, and like I seriously miss them so much. Um, but something else that's been perplexing me in this time is that I think that this might be the very last time I am here in my classroom before I move out of it. I am very happy to announce that I have accepted a position at a school in my neighborhood and I'm so thrilled to be able to share that with you guys. It has been a long time coming. I actually got the job back in February. Um, I'm going to be teaching fourth grade again, you guys. I love fourth grade. And I'm going to be teaching science and social studies. So they do departmentalize there. It is a K through eight school. Um, and so they departmentalize starting in fourth grade. So I'm going to be teaching fourth grade science, social studies, and I'm really excited um, it's going to be great. My commute is going to be a minute and a half compared to an hour. So I will have two hours extra in my day each day to do who knows what. Um, and so I'm very excited to be sharing this news with you guys. Um, but it is very bittersweet to me. And um, I am very upset and angry at all of what's going on because it is robbing me of my last three months that I had with the staff here, with the administration here, and above all with my students here. Um, you know, normally when you stay in a school, you continue to see your kids throughout the years and you watch them grow and I'm not going to be able to do that. And I'm very sad that I didn't get a proper goodbye. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that we don't have to stay closed till the end of the school year, but if we do, then I will only return to pack up my classroom. And that really makes me sad. It's very, um, it's a very emotional time right now. I'm looking out at all the empty desks and just coming to the realization that I might not see in person the sweet kids that filled them ever again in person. I didn't get, get to hug them goodbye or anything, so. I 
the best thing I can do right now for them is to just be strong and to just make sure that they know how much I love them and miss them and I pray that they're doing well. So anyway, that is my announcement. I'm very excited. Um, the time that I'm spending at home now is being focused on what I'm gonna do for my students while they're away and really starting to look forward to next year and what I'm going to be able to do next year with my new students. So anyway, that's enough of that. Um, I'm gonna show you guys what I packed up, what I'm going to take home with me, and then I'm gonna get out of here so that I'm not <clears throat> here any longer than I need to be. Okay, so I'm gonna take this black cart home and I got some butcher paper. Um, I got a lot of it. I'm gonna cut some off and give it to um, a friend of mine who has her kids at home um, so that they can draw on it. And then I'm gonna keep some at home for cash so he can draw on it. Um, but I'm gonna take the cart home so that I can kind of organize my like teaching tools in one space. And then that way it's not like cluttering up my whole house. <laughs> and then in addition to that, I'm taking home some um, base 10 blocks. I'm gonna give my friend Becca some for her kids because they're first in kindergartners and I think that they, that would be very beneficial to have for them. So I'll divvy up a little pack for them and then the rest I'm gonna take home to use for modeling. I've got number lines, fraction tiles. Um, I have some area squares. My students did not get a chance to learn area and perimeter or elapsed time. So I'm gonna do my best job to teach them while I'm away, luckily these are two skills that they do get again in fourth grade and so I'm confident that when they get to fourth grade the teachers will take extra time to introduce that to them. Um, down here I have some whiteboards and some whiteboard markers. Again, I'm gonna give my friend Becca a couple of these for her kids so that she can work with them at home. And then a couple read alouds that I'm taking home, Holes. I know that it's not a third grade level book but it is a read aloud and I think that they will love this book. I also promised I would read that to them before the school year was over, so I'm gonna do it. It's gonna be like a weekly live stream. And then I brought The Tales of a Fourth Grade Nothing because that's a super fun book. And then my favorite all-time book, we were starting to do a read aloud of Island of the Blue Dolphins in a small group. And I know this is a way higher level, but they love it. They love listening and reading along. So I'm gonna bring that home to do with them. And then I also brought home a pencil sharpener. I don't have one at home and I brought pencils and I'm like, well, how am I gonna sharpen them? So then I brought some highlighters in case I need them and some sticky notes. And then my laptop charger is down there. Um, I'm bringing home my uh, Go For Sport Brain Break dice because I thought maybe I could use them for cash or whatever. This is sunscreen that's been here for a while so I'm bringing that home. Um, I'm bringing this pot home for my plants, and then obviously the clock. I'm bringing home my laminator. I gotta throw some laminating sheets in here, some tissue, um, because we are running low on toilet paper, and if need be, um, I can just grab this if I need to. And then I'm bringing home a ton of sanitizer, sanitizing wipes, spray, a multi-surface cleaner. Um, these are just things that I haven't been able to find at the store, and I have them here. And I have way more than this here. I'm just, this is all I'm taking because I feel like if we do come back, we're gonna need some here too. So I'm leaving some here, but I'm bringing this home. Um, what else is in there? I'm leaving this one here. I don't need that one. So just these two crates and then my cart. And I need to grab some laminating sheets. I'll grab these. Maybe I'll bring my light box home and put it like behind me. That would be super cute. It takes batteries only because a little ninja destroyed the port. <laughs> Uh, maybe I'll bring that home. That way I can kind of like write inspirational messages on it to put behind me when I'm doing read alouds or live streaming lessons or whatever. I'll bring those just for positivity. And that's all I'm bringing, guys. 
Oh, I do have a basket of picture books outside by the door, so I'm also taking those home. That's what we're getting. As always, friends, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at AppleSNTR is where I post updates daily. I hope you all are staying safe and healthy inside at home, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.